Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today. Um, I'm going to do something that I promised one of our new viewers. She is UK mom of two, Jack. Hi. Um, I promised her that we would be going over Sync Reflections, which is a book by Marla Silly, The Fly Lady. It's a synopsis of everything that's in, almost everything that's on her flylady.net website. So what we're gonna do is just do the things in here together. So what we're gonna do first is shine our sink. Why shine our sink? It's where we begin. It's where we always begin. And Marla says, the fly lady, says that we need, or that we have a, sh a shiny sink in every room. So right now, think about what these things look like. What does your kitchen sink look like right now? Is it mounted with dishes and yucky water? Or is it just kind of sloppy looking and you have a few things always in there? What does your dining room table look like? Is it mounded with things or scattered with things? How about your coffee table or your couch? Are there mounds of laundry there or just various things? How about your bed? Do you have to move things off of it to get into it at night? These are the areas that are the shiny sinks of each room. So the idea is to have those things in their best possible shape. So we're gonna start with our kitchen sink. And what we'll need when we do this, I'm gonna put this up tomorrow. You'll need an hour and a half because it takes an hour of waiting time for this to have, for your sink to soak. So you'll need an hour and a half. You'll need hot water. So um, hopefully you have access to hot water in your sink. You'll need a cup of bleach for each sink. So if you have a double sink, you'll need two cups of bleach. Now I know that some people don't like to use bleach. I'm one of those people. Uh, I do use it when I do my shiny sink because you don't shine your sink every day. You don't shine your sink every month. In fact, I don't shine my sink every year because I clean my sink every day. It doesn't require being reshined. However, for this demonstration, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to use two cups of bleach. If you are totally adverse to using the bleach, you can use vinegar. I don't think you'll get as good results, but it'll be okay. Um, and then you'll need gloves because you don't want to put your hands down in that hot, bleachy water. You will need um, some kind of cleanser, either baking soda or Comet or Ajax, something like that. You'll need a sharp edge, something, a tool that you can clean around the outside edge of the sink. Think of cleaning under your fingernails, something sharp. Uh, you'll need a toothbrush or a dental floss. No, we're not doing oral care. We're going to clean the faucet real well. And you'll need something to shine it, some Windex when you're all done. Shine it up. And if you have a stubborn sink, you might want to consider some car wax. Um, if you don't want to do car wax, you can do a little olive oil. I think that shines mine up pretty good. No sink will be perfect when it's done, but it'll be a whole lot better and it looked really pretty. Um, also, you might want to clean up your dish towels. So if you can come up with a week's worth of dish towels, that'll be awesome. Get them all clean and ready to go. If not, I went to the dollar store and bought dish towels and dishcloths for a dollar each. And that's what I use in my kitchen. Um, but I have other dish towels that I could use. You don't have to have something new, just something clean and dry, because every night you're gonna put out a clean dish towel. You're gonna polish your sink, shine your sink, and put your clean dish towel out every night. So in the morning you come down to your kitchen and it's shiny and beautiful with a nice clean towel. So that's where we're gonna begin. Um, if you do not have a dishwasher, then do look for your dish pan. Uh, or some kind of a rubber tub that you can put dishes in. Um, the idea is in the morning you empty your dishwasher and you have an empty dishwasher for your dishes to go in so that they don't con uh, conglomerate or so that they don't gather in the sink and you know what that turns into. Um, if you don't have a dishwasher then you're going to want to have a tub underneath the sink or a dish pan so that your family and you can put your dishes in there during the day before you wash them. So that there's never dirty dishes around. So to start with, you're going to get your sink empty, whatever that means to you, okay? All right, so I look forward to doing this with you tomorrow. We're gonna have a good time, we're gonna have fun, just need an hour and a half and those items that I told you. So I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, are you ready to shine your sink? Let's go. 
These are the items I'll be using today to shine my sink. Gloves, a skewer, which is a sharp object to clean around the sink, an old toothbrush to scrub the faucet, a one cup measure for the bleach, you can use vinegar if you prefer, Comet, you can use baking soda if you prefer, some Windex, and optional, something to shine the sink after if it's a little not as shiny as you want. So I'm using olive oil. Some people use car wax. Um, I'm happy with a little olive oil. So there we go. Okay, we're ready to shine our sink, and we're going to follow the steps in the Fly Lady book, Sink Reflections, the baby steps to shining your sink. I know yesterday I said I don't shine my sink every you know, day, and what I meant is I don't do this every day. I do polish my sink or shine it up every day, but I don't do this heavy duty thing every day. So, very excited to do this with you. Step one, take all the dishes out of the sink. Step two, Fill the sink with very hot water and add one cup of bleach to the sink. Make sure you fill it all the way up to the rim. Now add one cup of bleach to each sink. Now we're going to wait for one hour. While I'm waiting for my sinks to soak for an hour, I'm going to go take a walk with my daughter. I want to show you this beautiful sunrise. Isn't that pretty? In case you were wondering, I have to drive to my daughter's home. She lives several neighbor neighborhoods away, so that's where I'm headed. We'll take about a two-mile walk, and then I'll be back, and we'll finish the sink. Here we are on our walk. <laughs> Look what the North Florida humidity has done to my hair, and I'm sweating. So this is how I'm going to look for the rest of your video. Sorry. <laughs> okay, it's been an hour, a little over an hour, so let's get back to work. These are my sinks after an hour. I have my gloves on, and I'm going to put my hands down in here and pull out the stoppers. Step three is to rinse your sinks well. One way. Here's another way. Our next step is to get our Comet, Ajax, or baking soda and scrub the sinks really well. You want to make sure not to use any Windex or ammonia based um, products at this stage because we've just used, if you've used bleach.
now we're going to take our sharp edge tool, our skewer, and clean around the edge of the sink. Look at that. I'm glad I did it. Look at all the little stuff coming out. stuff coming up and I have a what I consider a clean sink so there it goes. it's mainly right here in the front all right now we're going to take our old toothbrush and clean around the faucet some of this extra cleanser from the sink. Okay. Oh, here's a little spot I forgot. Anything that swivels has a little spot. Okay. Now let's rinse everything really well. My hair. The dish towel so I can do the the Windex next. She doesn't mention the step, but I think this is assumed. Oh, shiny already. Okay, let's do the Windex. going to dry that Windex up. If you prefer, you can use a cloth towel, clean cloth towel, but for convenience sake, I'm going to do this. Oh, that looks nice. I'd say it's been about a year actually since I've done this because I wipe it out every day. This is what my sink looks like when I'm all done. So there we go. I've got my hand soap out, my dish soap out. Under the sink is my spray that I use in the sink to keep it clean. Fly Lady says to ensure that your sinks stay clean like this to put a little sticky note in it so that during the day your family will be reminded to put their dishes in the dishwasher or if you don't have a dishwasher in um, your dish pan under the sink. I hope this works for you. I love it. Hey, these sinks look awesome. <laughs> Can I use them yet? Yeah. Okay, thanks.